So now that you have separated your audio into different channels based on the applications, did you also know that you can use uh, Pulse Audio as a very simple budget audio mixer? So you can add uh, compression and de to your microphone. Well, in this video I will show you how to do that. On the desktop, open up a terminal and type in sudo apt install lsp-plugins pulse effects. This will install the necessary plugins along with pulse effects that we will be using. Now open up uh, your recording software, in my case OBS, which is already running, and open up power control or pulse audio volume control and pulse effects. Go to a recording tab on power control and look for your microphone input for your recording software. For me, this is the fifth OBS entry on the recording tab. If your recording software does not appear in the recording tab, you may have to actually start a recording for it to appear there. In pulse effects, you click on the small microphone icon in the top left, click on applications, find your recording software and enable the entry that matches your microphone input. For me, this is the fifth OBS entry because my microphone was on the fifth entry on the recording tab in Pavi Control. Now you click the menu button in the top right in Pulse Effects, go to the Pulse Audio tab. On pipeline input, you want to put the latency as low as possible without pulse effects freezing. If pulse effects freezes, press the plus button to increase the latency and pulse effects will unfreeze. Even though it looks like the application does not respond, it will unfreeze after a few seconds once it has the right latency. You also notice that your spectrum for your microphone will actually stop doing anything if the latency is too low. Then, once you have uh, the sweet spot for the input, you go to pipeline output and do the same thing. However, if the latency is put too low, you will have audio crackling. Check this with both your headset and speakers, if you have some, and uh, do a few test recordings to see if you have any audio crackling or any weird audio issues. Once you're happy with the audio configuration and uh, the quality of your audio, you can uh, go in here and enable the compressor or the multiband compressor and uh, change around the settings there to bring your low, uh, your low voice audio up and your peak audio on the microphone down so that you don't get into the red bar. This is my audio with the compressor on. And this is my audio with the compressor off. As you can hear, there's a huge difference in how my audio sounds. It does also remove some quality. That's usually what happens with the compressor, but the audio is more normalized and it's more like, it should be more pleasant to hear. We also have a equalizer. The equalizer is a very good tool to use for people who are actually good at audio. I'm not. So I'm not even going to fiddle with this, but the option is here if you actually do want to use it. We also have a de -esser. A de -esser removes lingering S's from the words that you speak. As you can see, it's like detecting and removing some of them. Reverberation is the same as putting yourself in a virtual empty room and adding artificial echo. This is a very good thing to have if you're doing voice acting and actually need to make it sound like your character is inside a cathedral or like a huge empty space to actually have an echo. Or you're doing a Twitch stream where you role play with uh, other friends and you want it to sound like your character is in a huge empty space. As a demonstration, this is how it sounds like. I would also like to talk about this WebRTC, 
plugin, which has uh, a lot of options that are very tempting to turn on, like echo canceller, noise suppressor, gain controller, and voice detector. Pulse Audio does not have a very good way to handle this, so I do not recommend turning this option on at all. Actually, don't ever turn this on. It's also pretty CPU intensive, and sometimes it makes you sound like a robot because of that. If OBS supplies its own version of any of these, use that instead, because OBS does a very better job at that than uh, Pulse Audio. Now, with this setup and uh, our extra audio channels from the previous setup video, you're now sitting with a pretty okay audio mixing board. Does it replace an actual physical audio mixing board that you have on your desk? No. But this is an alternative if you lack the money or lack the space to have a physical audio mixer. I hope that this video has actually been useful for you, and I will see you all later. You can catch me on twitch.tv slash Hikari Night. Bye bye.